Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, let us know and we'll actually do it for you. Just drop us a link in the comment section and we'll be glad. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 and we've got some amazing um, weekly vlogs that you guys should watch out for. So go there, subscribe and enjoy the content. We've got a Patreon called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and I think you guys would love the, conversa the conversations that we have there. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel or our second YouTube channel for the visual. Uh, we've got a Patreon and it would be nice if you guys became members. We'll appreciate the effort. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching, um, sharing, everything else that you guys are doing. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to the enemies of Allah, people of river, interest. Don't know what that word is, but yeah, so let's get into the video. For many a year we have controlled your lives while you all just struggle and suffer in strife. We created the things that you don't really need. Your your sports cars and fashion and plasma TVs. We control the money that controls your lives. Whilst you worship false idols and wouldn't think twice about selling your souls for a place in the sun, these things that won't matter when your time is done. You would really believe that we look out for you, while we bankers and brokers are only a few. But if you saw that, you'd take back the power. Hence, daily terrors to make you all cower. The panics, the crashes, the wars, and the illness that keep you from finding your spiritual wholeness. So, go out and work as your body clock fades. And when it's all over, a few years from the grave, you'll look back on all this, and just then you'll see that your life was nothing. It was us that funded Nazis. But as long as we own all the media too, what's really happening does not concern you. So just go on watching your plasma TV and the world will be run by the ones you can't. While Europe was Christian for those centuries, Christian Europe fought a ferocious battle against riba. In fact, one of the best books on riba ever written was written by a British sheikh. What was his name? Shakespeare, correct. Which book? Merchant of Venice. In Merchant of Venice, you see Christian Europe in its attempt to ensure the prohibition of riba. But when the French Revolution occurred, the back of the Christian church was broken in Western Europe. And when was it broken in Eastern Europe? Which revolution? The Bolshevik Revolution broke the back of the Christian church in Eastern Europe, in Russia. When once the back of the Christian church was broken in Europe, the Jews were delighted. The Jews were delighted. Because the Christians had been waging a terrific war against the Jews for centuries in Europe. We will not allow you to lend money on interest. Hmm? And the Jews always wanted to lend money on interest. Why? The Torah that had come down from Allah had prohibited riba. But they changed it and the Torah now says, in as many words, that it is haram for a Jew to lend money on interest to another Jew. Hmm? <laughs> but it is halal, he can lend on interest to those who are not Jews. Go and check it out. 
Go and check it out in Deuteronomy, in Leviticus. Hmm? Go and check it out. So they are the moneylenders. They change the word of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to this in the Quran and points out that they had in effect changed the Torah. Where did he do that? Surah An Nisa. The language, as I said, was very powerful language. In that ayah, he says, وَأَخْزِهِمُ الرِّبَا وَقَدْ نُهُعًا They were taking riba despite the fact that they had been prohibited from doing so. But the banks in Europe, they don't just lend money on interest. The European economy not only produces this curious creature called a bank, the bank does something more than lending money on interest. What the bank does, and this began in France with an Englishman, what the bank does is to start issuing paper as money. Paper as money. And then when government saw that the banks were getting rich issuing paper as money, then the governments took over <laughs> the paper. Then Europe sent her armies and European armies shamelessly, shamelessly, shamelessly at the point of a sword. Those who say Islam was spread at the point of the sword, they're the ones who went with the point of the sword. Huh? and conquered the rest of the non-European world. And so a white world order emerges at the point of the sword in which Europe now rules the world. Hmm? When Europe took over the rest of the world, one of the most important things that Europe wanted to do was to dismantle the system of real money and replace it with paper money. And they achieved it. And all the natives start dancing, drum beating. We have something called independence. While Europe is laughing its head behind the wall. Look at them, blind like bats. Europe would not decolonize until Europe was ensured that a new financial system was in place in which real money was now replaced by paper money. At the beginning, when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable for gold. What does redeemable mean? In, yes, exchange. In the United States of America, until the 1920s, you could take 20 US dollars in notes, paper, and go to any bank and you can ask for one ounce of gold and you'll get it. Hmm? If a man wants to cut your throat, he won't be so silly as to show you the knife. He has to hide the knife first, all right? Get you to come close. So when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable in gold. And the banks that issued the paper money and the governments that issued the paper money, they gave their word that this is the value of the paper. And they even print on the paper, guess what they printed? In God we trust. It says, in God we trust. Hmm? In other words, when we give our word to you that 20 American dollars is equivalent to one ounce of gold, our word is as good and as solid as the word of God himself.
Now it's an interesting video about interest. I like the fact that he said that um, like Jews were not supposed to charge other Jews for interest, but they could charge others for that. I mean, that's the word. I mean, it makes sense to some extent. Just like, although what I don't get is where I don't get the point. I don't get the fact that other people can come to Africa with their passports, but Africans can't go, can't easily go out to those countries. I wish that maybe Africans could do some of those things. An example is Robert Mugabe, when they signed the independence treaty, whatever it was, they agreed that after some time the land would be returned back to the people of Zimbabwe. But after that, I don't know how many years, they didn't want to give back the land, and yet it was agreed upon that that's what will happen. That's why I guess he took land from the white people and gave, was, I guess, giving it back to his people. But they termed that as something else in the, in the media because they control the media, they control everything. They just want to control each and everything that people do, which doesn't make sense. That's why I liked him. But then there's something else that I said. At the end of the day, um, all these things will mean nothing. Gold will mean nothing. Um, Money will mean nothing, clothes will mean nothing when our time on earth has passed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Have I have learned something new today and I'll probably look into this interest thing because such things just interest me. You know, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.